I'm going to demonstrate the way that a user would request a login to Bridge, the learning management system used to train CalPETS. So here we are at the CSIS website, and you see the menu items in the upper right-hand corner. First click on CalPADS and then Learning. There are two options. There's the home page for the learning CalPADS landing site, or there is the LMS. Um, for the purposes of our demonstration, I'll start with the LMS. If you already had an account, you could log in directly by clicking the top button. The bottom button is the request an LMS form. So here we go. I'll demonstrate our form using a Gmail account and enter the password. So the email is going to be used to send you confirmation and the password that you create following these password requirements will be used when you log in to the bridge system. You'll have to choose your LEA and the reason why you're creating an account is to access learning. Uh, CAPTCHA and submit. Here you see that the submission was accepted. There are publicly available resources, which you can find by clicking the link here, also using the resource menu item in the upper right-hand corner. CalPads uh, public information is listed here, presentations and other information in while you are waiting for your login to become active. Okay, so now that I have made the request for my learning management login, I'm gonna go to my email and here I see that I have a CISA service desk receipt of my account. So this email tells me that CISA service desk has received the information I submitted on the form through the, e through the website and that within the next 24 to 48 hours, I'll receive another email, a welcome email, meaning that my account has been approved because each LEA at the current time has a single licensed logon user. We anticipate being able to roll out training to more users as time goes on, but for right now we have one user per LEA. So I need to keep this ticket so that I know what my um, information is when I get the second ticket. I see my account username here, mjbridge1 at myficmat.org. Awesome. So it's been some time and I've received several emails from the CSIS learning management system as well as the service desk. So previously I received the initial notice that my submission was received and I got this email and then I got a subsequent email with the learn.ficmat.org website and a description of what my username is. It's in the original ticket, the receipt of my submission on the website. And this email tells me it's first name dot last name at myficmat.org. And when I go to the email that I originally got, I see mj.bridge1 at myficmat.org. So I'm gonna go there and use that mj. I'm going to copy and paste it here, right click and copy, go here and paste. This is the authentication process that is taking my username for Bridge and the email that I submitted and authenticating them. And so it's telling me I need more information to keep my account secure. I'm going to set up my authentication email, which will be mj.bridge1 at 
one at gmail.com. They'll email me a verification code from Microsoft on behalf of FICMAT CSIS. Here's my verification code. Copy and paste that into the verify. All right, awesome. So now I'm finished with the verification and I should log in directly to Bridge. I will agree to the terms of my use here and welcome to Bridge. So this is the first class that you can take in order to orient yourself to the navigation in Bridge. Additionally, Bridge will send an email to any user who logs in here welcoming you. This is how you know that the CESA service desk has initiated your account setup. This button at the bottom that says go for a spin is a direct link to the page. Also, because by default any new user is added to that Welcome to Bridge Learning, you'll also get this email that a new course called Welcome to Bridge Learning has been assigned to you. And we see that that is true here when we look at the My Learning page. So this is the process from beginning to end, from requesting your user login to verifying your account to beginning your learning in the Bridge Learning System.